Let's get animating! Hi guys! Based on my hierarchy, all my animations will be attached to the new brain and blue tree textures. Starting with the brain, I click and add a curve, name and save the animation in your assets wherever you like. This will be our only state for the brain. I start by adding a scale curve. Unity creates two keyframes. Since my animation will loop, I will only add and edit a keyframe in the middle. As you can see, drag the gizmo to scale also adds position keyframes, which I don't want. Scale via the inspector. I added additional keyframes to give it that little extra bounce. Use as many keyframes as you like. I keep tweaking timing and keyframe values until satisfied. To give the brain extra life, I add a slight rotation. In the animator, double click the state. In the inspector, we can change the overall speed of the state. Important note, this affects all layers of animation in that state. So plan ahead. I decide to slow the brain animation down. I move on to the blue tree, add a curve, and save it. This will be our first of the three states. For some reason, all my anchor points became undone. So I fixed that and rearranged the textures. I decide to adjust 
and add some more eggs. Make sure no two objects have the same name. That's very important. In the timeline, I add a rotation property for branch one. I just want the tree to look like it's swaying in the wind. I finished the rotation, slow the entire state. Then click Add Curve to create State 2. I copy the keyframes from State 1 into State 2. I'll copy keyframe from one state to other almost every time, simply as a starting point. In state 2, I just want a different speed of the branch swing. Easy stuff! In the animator, right click on state 1 and add a transition to state 2. I decide to have the first state play twice then move to state 2. To do this, click on the transition error you created, then in the inspector, change the exit time to a value of 2. With practice and time, you'll wrap your head around transitions. I click on main camera and change the size to 8 to show the whole tree, but this value is different for every project. With the blue tree texture selected, I click Add Curve and Save, thus creating State 3. To delete the transition, click the arrow between two states and use the delete keyboard button. With this transition setup, I was hoping Unity would randomly select which state it would go to, but it didn't work like that, so I deleted the extra transitions. If you create a script that does this, post it below or email it to us and we'll do an update video in your honor.